on a purely emotional basis, how does it feel to look at all that iron ore lying in the ground that in one day is going to be yours? Bloody good. Look, Gina is a very, very focused and determined person. You know, really nothing stands in the way. Is she as tough as you? Oh, tougher, yeah, by a long way. So you inherit the empire? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the press terms. I'll leave that alone. <laughs> Miner, businesswoman, billionaire. Gina Reinhardt is Australia's richest person who has built her wealth on iron ore. What are we going to tell the Prime Minister? X the tax! X the tax! At the end of the day, iron ore producers are minting money at the moment. We're talking about profit margins in the last six months of 80 to 90 per cent. She has a reputation for maintaining a relatively low profile, but made a rare public appearance in these commercials aired during the Olympics. The ads celebrate her donations to the Australian Olympic swimming team. In every corner of this great country, Australians are chasing their dreams. Our patron, Gina Reinhardt, helps to give me the leadership and inspiration to want to be the best. Look, I thought it was a, a, a something of an interesting transition for Gina Reinhardt. Um, that's something that um, I certainly don't think she'd have done, you know, five years ago, ten years ago. The mining mogul has donated millions of dollars to Australian Olympic and Paralympic sport for several years. The donations mostly target swimming, but also rowing, volleyball and synchronised swimming. Her former advisor Michael Yapsley says while she has long been a patron of Olympic sports, it's surprising Gina Reinhardt had chosen to be included in her own advertising campaign. Perhaps we might see more of her in the future, but I think she'll always be pretty, she'll be pretty choosy about it. To be the best at what they do. The 90-second commercial ran in primetime slots and directed viewers to job vacancies at the Roy Hill Mine. And it was very much about aligning the success of swimming with mining. Gina Reinhardt declined an interview with 7.30 and wouldn't disclose how much the ad cost or how much she donates to Olympians. Advertising executive Dee Madigan has previously worked on campaigns for the Labor Party. She says the ad could also be targeting future endeavours for Hancock prospecting, especially in the lead-up to the Brisbane Olympics. She has a lot of projects up in Queensland and we know she keeps talking about how much red tape there is up there and how she wants it to disappear. And we know for Gina, sometimes red tape is another word for environmental consideration. Hancock Prospecting said it welcomes the 2032 Olympics and will consider opportunities to assist closer to the Games and has suggested government regulations should be eased to encourage investment. After taking the reins in the 1990s, Gina Reinhardt rebuilt her late father Lang Hancock's financially troubled company into a huge success. When I did take her over the company, it was in so many difficulties. Disputes with her family have dominated the headlines over the years. Gina Reinhardt went to the High Court over more than $30 million in assets controlled by Rose Porteous. But the Roy Hill mining project in the Pilbara region remains a crowning achievement. I did not realise that this would be the deposit of iron ore that allowed me to fulfil my father's and my dream to be an owner miner. She's currently taking the Canadian government to court over a decision to reject her coal mine project in the Rocky Mountains. While in Queensland, even though the Alpha coal mine in the Galilee Basin received government approval in 2012, analysts argue the project has stalled. The reality is the project has not moved one step forward in a decade and uh, the world has moved way beyond the Galilee in that time frame. I, I would argue this is a purely stranded asset. Tim Buckley from the Institute for Energy Economics and Analysis says coal projects like the Alpha Mine are a tough sell given concerns about climate change. He thinks Gina Reinhardt will turn to other investments. Gina didn't become the richest person in Australia for no reason and uh, I don't think she's going to 
gamble her wealth on a product that's in terminal decline. I would be hoping that Hancock Prospecting will be looking to the future. Do we go electric vehicles and lithium? Do we go rare earths? Hancock Prospecting told 7.30 they're always looking at suitable investments. The company didn't comment on whether the Alpha Mine was viable, but said the majority partner in the project, GVK of India, has spent the years since Hancock first shipped coal samples overseas for testing on both approvals and defending legal actions. I think she will continue to um, expand her business empire but at the at the core of that there will always be mining and at the core of mining I think there will always be iron ore. Even her former advisor says it's difficult to know what the billionaire will do next but anticipates she'll continue to wield influence whether through philanthropy or otherwise. And if the question is 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 Gina Reinhardt about to morph into a, an Andrew Forrest type personality, I don't think so. People will listen to her. I mean, you know, after all, she is a very, very significant player in the Australian business landscape. She deserves to have an audience, but I think she'll pick and choose uh, who that audience is. <laughs>